Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading for you guys. Hope you're doing really good. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards and then we are going to pull some tarot. So let's get right into it using spellcasting deck first. Spellcasting deck for Pisces. Give us messages. This is for my subscribers or anybody that would like to benefit from this energy. Financial health. Bonsai tree. That's beautiful. So the money is literally growing on this tree though, right? And we've always been told it doesn't. So there you go. Proof you can manifest. Then I have travel. So, you know, usually the lantern here is kind of, it's coming across to me right now as the hermit energy of um, on your own journey it's like the sun and the moon are out at the same time in a sense, uh, but that light is actually coming from inside you. And your dreams, there's that light again. like a bubble right so if it's gonna be like a bubble which is a little iridescent on the outside I, I would say it's like looking into a crystal ball and that might be where you're at with your dreams you know maybe we're at whatever stage you are with your dreams so that might be the clarity coming in about that and then I have happiness so happiness is good this is um, Your own happiness, developing um, your own perspective, and trying to figure out how you see things. Sometimes you can find symbols in dreams, um, but just always be aware that you're the one interpreting things. So if you can try to look for the good in just about all, including yourself in your dreams, then you'll find the actual messages. It might be very non-apparent that it's actually something very not harmful for you. And then I have passion. So write down your dreams possibly too, because there's something that feels like it's happening at night. Passion, creativity. Okay, for Pisces, what else? I think we're gonna take that one. Justice. Let's move this over. <clears throat> Boundaries. All right. Oh, and then your manifestation. Your manifestation. And like I said, it might be symbolically, so you may have some kind of dream work to interpret. And that, again, would be your your call on what that would mean. Let's put these down a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Um, Tara, what do you have for Pisces? What you got for Pisces? Eight of Cups in the reverse. Coming back to a passion, maybe from the past. Standing up for yourself or advocating for one's own happiness and uh, the happiness of those that you're able to affect in that way. Cool. We have the King of Swords as the challenge here, connecting the dreams and symbols and the travel. So you might be just on this chariot journey here, chariot slash hermit journey, 
through your dreams and uh, through the realm of gifts getting heightened to the point where you have to um, be very disciplined, it feels like, to learn more about them and to see things with crystal clear clarity because like I feel like saying the ego might cause us to not see as clear but in the moment of course it's, we're going to say yeah we see something clearly so I, I don't know what that's about but the king of swords is asking that maybe maybe speak to an expert page of swords energy finding your information and healing work done in your dreams so rest is important rest recovery Queen of Swords reverse and the Six of Pentacles reverse has to do with feeling like something wasn't fair for a situation where someone followed what it appears, okay, I'm going to say appears to be disconnected from the heart space, but in actuality, this Queen of Swords knows why being disciplined and doing something by the book is so important at this time might be regarding information or... Um, I don't know, maybe a younger person to make money for, for example. The Four of Swords, like I'm going say maybe a child. Four of Swords is healing and um, mending. Ace of Cups. New opportunities or a new beginning or start. Especially with the, uh, well, nice. Nine of Cups, especially with the wish granted. For some kind of manifestation it has to do with your financial health and uh the justice energy here so this is really nice all right let's see let's get some in the shadows cards for you Just kind of did that real quick. That was family. Some kind of issue there. I wanted to pop up. Okay, ask the angels. Cards. Or Pisces. Okay, within the next few weeks. Forgiveness. Peaceful resolution. A no for something. Ask your angels and listen to your intuition. In the near future, you know what? Let's pull um, some angel number messages too. In the near future. Hey, zero, zero, I am observant. 16, I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask that you share your knowledge for the benefit of others. 16 is I am perceptive. Okay. And to close out this reading, let's close out with this um, shaman's dream. Cosmic womb, the divine feminine. Cosmic womb, six. Love, harmony, and all that good stuff. All right, sending you love and light. Bye, Pisces.